hands up today. <laughs> I'm like overwhelmed with the turnout of so many of my neighbors and friends and people that want to see a change in the New York State Senate. People, we love you, Robert! Yeah! Yeah! He loves you too. People that want to see people that want to see me representing them, uh, knowing that I will do my best to make sure that I'm inclusive of all, yes. uh, that uh, you should know that I, when I need to be, I'll stand up to anyone to let them know what my position is. It doesn't matter if it's the governor, the mayor, the majority leader, or anyone else. You have to be willing to stand up for what you believe in and stand up for the people that you represent. Yes. And that's what I hope to do uh, if, in fact, I'm elected to the New York State Senate. And some people say to me, Senator, I said, no, not yet. <laughs> I think that you could say that after September the 13th. Because <laughs> you know, uh, New York is a blue town. And what does that mean? Uh, like four out of five uh, registered voters are Democrats. So if we win the primary on September 13th, clearly, in my opinion, that in November, we will elect ourselves to go up to Albany. Yeah. And when I say, what do you mean elect ourselves? Because we all going up there together. Yeah. We're gonna to celebrate and have a good time. Yeah. Knowing that we are getting rid of someone that the Daily News has called a Trump Democrat. Yeah. That also that's referred to as a turncoat Democrat that is referred to as a rogue Democrat. Now, you ever heard of the, you see people on the street years ago and maybe sometimes now, and they have the three cards with the little, uh, little piece there, three card Monty, and so the hands are quicker than the eyes. And so you put your money down and you think you won, and but ah, you lost. Well, I mean, she ran as a Democrat, and then she turned her back on all of us. Betrayal. And she betrayed us all. And she may come down and talk a good game to certain individuals that she is very progressive. She signed on to all of the progressive legislation, the DREAM Act, the Liberty Act, the rent laws. But when you forge a partnership with the Republicans that control the New York State Senate, you know nothing will get done. Mm -hmm. That's a sham that she's playing on us. And you know one thing? All of us here and thousands of more around not only in our district and the entire city, they know that. And so I'm so happy to be with you knowing that we are going the distance. Yeah. This is not a sprint. If you're ready for a sprint, then you can run a 100-yard dash. But as I said, this is a marathon. You're We're marathon. in it for the long haul. Are you in it for the long haul? Yeah! Are you ready to fight? Yeah! Well, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to go throughout the entire neighborhood and talk to our neighbors. And when I talk to some neighbors, I look at them and I say, Hi, I'm Robert Jackson. I'm running for the state senate. Do you know about the IDC? And you look at them, and you can tell if they know about the IDC. Did you get a blank stare? They don't know. But if they say, oh yeah, are those the ones that are uh, with the Republicans? Then you know they know a little bit. And our job within one minute is to educate them about the IDC. And then within the 31st senatorial district, as someone said, all of Marble Hill, all of Enwood, all of Washington Heights, it goes into West Harlem, the Upper West Side. It goes down all the way to Midtown and to Chelsea, the 26th Street and 9th Avenue. It's 13 miles long. <laughs> Our job is to try to educate people about what this campaign is about. If you let people know, and especially if you can speak Spanish, 
and you talk to the Latino community, mm -hmm. that's even more important. And ask me why. Why? <laughs> why? Because when you look at the numbers, you look at the numbers from two years ago, where did Marisol win? Here. Harold, you know where she won. She won in the 72nd Assembly right. District. That's it. She won nowhere else. And so our job is to communicate with the Latino community, if we can, and everybody else, what this is about. This is about change to make sure that progressive legislation is passed. Yep. And you may ask, what pieces of legislation? Well, the rent laws need to be changed, and the Republicans, yeah. the Republicans have held it up. Yep. $4.3 billion is owed to the children of New York State about two billion for New York City school children being held up by the Republicans in the IDC. Do you, and let me tell you if you don't know, as one example, Kevin Parker, a state senator from Brooklyn, was trying to tag on the $4.3 billion to an education bill for a funeral director. But it has to do with education. So he tried to tag it on. The IDC, Marisol Encantara, Jeff Klein, Jesse Hamilton, Jose Peralta, and the rest of them, instead of voting yes with Kevin Parker and the Democrats, because they have an alignment with the Republicans, they didn't want to do that. They didn't want to be seen as voting no against the children of New York State. So what did they do? They walked, walked out. out. They walked out. Oh. It, was, it was marked as being absent. Shame on them. Shame. Shame, Shame on you. Shame. 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 We're going to get you out Shame. in September and November. Right. Woo. right. Woo. That's what this campaign is about. And I say to all of you, stay united. Don't let them divide us. Yep. Right. You will hear, oh, they're nothing but majority of the white people. Hello? <laughs> These white individuals are members of the 31st Senatorial District. Right. And yeah, they right. are voted. Yep. And they have a right just like anybody else. And they are the ones that are coming out and saying, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. enough, is enough. enough, is enough. And that's enough what this is, is about. Enough.